Brockton residents, I want to welcome you to our 18th episode of Our Brockton. Again, the title speaks for itself. It's Our Brockton. It's our home. It's our community. I'm Mayor Robert Sullivan. I want to thank you for uh, tuning in again. Uh, as you know, we have a lot of frequent guests. Uh, recently, we had Sabrina Victor, who is the, uh, the current Miss Massachusetts USA. We've had a lot of boards, uh, department heads, uh, specifically relative to COVID. Uh, but this week we're pivoting a little bit. I'm going to have two really great Brocktonians on uh, my episode to talk about boards and commissions, to talk about uh, youth in Brockton, and ultimately to talk about the vaccine rollout here in the City of Champions. So my first guest, uh, mo most of you probably know him. If you don't, you're going to learn to love him right now. Jeff Charnel. <laughs> Jeff, how are you? Good, good, Mayor. Thanks for uh, inviting me on the show. I'm happy to be here. And I have a conversation. Yeah, no, I want to thank you for your time. Um, for those that don't know you, um, first of all, he's a better basketball coach than I am. We've gone head to head a lot in uh, Brockton basketball. He wins most of the time. Um, that is not you know, true. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're 50 50. I don't know. But, but Jeff, just if you don't mind, just give a little uh, background history of who you are and, and, and what you do professionally as well. Yeah, so, you know, I won't, you know, take too much, but again, you know, grew up here in the city, played football, ran track, basketball, you know, ever since elementary school. Um, went to Brockton High. What year did you get out? Uh, oh, 2005. What building? <laughs> Azure. All right, all right. <laughs> um, great, great, great follow. So, um, then went to uh, Newberry College, uh, got my degree, uh, came uh, back to the city, and currently I'm a commercial lender for Northeastern Savings Bank. Excellent. Um, so again, you know, I started as, you know, in the banking business as a teller. Yep. You know, I started, you know, kind of grassroots, got myself in, then just kind of worked my way. You know, now I'm the vice president of commercial lending, so I cover Brockton all the way to uh, the Boston area. I mean, that's a big job. And, and I think what you just said speaks volumes, right? For those watching, um, you can start uh, low on the ladder, right? and do your time and really give your effort a thousand percent and just move up and you're an example of that i mean you've moved up and people go to you now for yeah. advice and suggestions and when you were a teller you would have been going to other people yeah, at that time yeah yeah and you know i've always you know I, I always say i've had you know some great bosses and i've had some bad ones and mm -hmm. i've learned more from the bad ones than i did the really good ones so i always tell people it's like you know just because you are in essentially in you know, an environment and you think you're not learning anything, you're always learning. You're constantly learning. Every you know, single day. Every day, right? no matter what environment it yeah, is. Because yeah. then, you know, I became a manager at one point and I, w I had a staff of uh, 16 people and I learned kind of how I wanted to manage my, my, my team, you know, and I learned from some of those mistakes that I seen you know, my predecessor or the person I was managing at the time do. So again, I didn't want to be that person, yep. so I managed a little bit differently. So we're going to shift a little bit now yep. because you're not just dedicated to the city in terms of professionally, but you volunteer a lot of time here in Brockton. I mean, you're on Haitian Community Partners, but the thing that I'm most proud of is your dedication to boards and commissions in Brockton. So I'm trying to recruit people to join, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's difficult right now because absolutely. people, you know, people, uh, you know, rightfully so, their time is precious. Yeah, absolutely. But talk about your experience. Number one, why did you ever want to join a board of commission for the city of Brockton? And, and then which ones have you been on and what are you doing right now? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, the late mayor, uh, Bill Carpenter, yep. asked me when, he, after he was elected, you know, would I be interested in being involved, mm -hmm. right? A kid that's never s only stepped in city hall to maybe get a tax bill yeah, or yeah. translate something in Haitian Creole for a constituent or for one of my clients or mm -hmm. something trying to get a business certificate. Um, I said yes. You know, I said you know let let me let me see what it's like mm -hmm. if I don't you know if I and you know it's been honestly one of the greatest opportunities that one can take on is really being involved in your local city mm -hmm. you know it's you know it really it really gives me you know comfort knowing that you know when someone asks me something i'm not just pulling it out of a hat right you know i i may have some actual you know insight you know like when i was on zoning mm -hmm. i had some insight you know i actually had read the case yes. and had done some research and had talked to you about, mm. you know, your your constituents in your area or the constituents at large. You know, so 
it, you know, it's been very, you know, one would say that, you know, it might be, you know, a waste of time, mm -hmm. this and that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm one to say that that is completely false. I mean, this is, you know, being involved in your local government where your children, your family, yep. all these people are, is very vital. And we need more people you know, to get involved, be involved. And I, I remember on our call the other week, you're like, everyone wants to be on zoning and on right. planning. <laughs> right, right, right. And those are the big ones, and Those right? are the big ones, you know. And, and I would say that, you know, that's, the, I mean, it just, you know, it, it's just not, it's not about those two, no. those two commissions no. either. You know, no. I, you know, I was fortunate to, to have the mayor think that I w would do well. And I, I think I- You did accept it. No, you I did. think I, I added not, value. I, I, but I, what I will say, <laughs> So again, when I was a concert at Lodge, I would go to these meetings and people that want to do it the right way really dig in. Right? Yeah. They do their due diligence, yeah. they do their homework, they're yeah. prepared. And when I would see you at your table, you'd have everything spread oh, out. You yeah. were ready to go. Yeah. There was no joke there. You no, were ready no, to go. No, no. I, 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 I went it. to the sites. I, you know, you know, again, I, I had read plans, yep. but not at that depth. Yes. You know, knowing where catch basins oh, are. Yeah. And, you know, easements and all these things that, you know, one doesn't think about when they're thinking about a development you know, is really in, in depth. So I, you know, it, you know, it really helped, it, but it helped me in my career. You know, I can say that, you know, I've met a lot of people, you know, in and around the city. Um, I know a lot of the, you know, developers, you know, I know all the city council yep. people, you know, the people in the different departments, you know, the, you know, one would think that, you know, as you get more involved, it just, helps you, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter, to me, it doesn't matter what you're doing. No, it's just relationship building. Yeah, you're right? building relationships, right. man. I mean, that's, I mean, that's what, you know, you've done your whole career. You've built relationships, you've built a base of people, you have supporters. I mean, this stuff is great. Yeah, it is. No, it is. And so tell everybody what you're on right now, because it's vitally important. Yeah, so I'm currently on the license commission. Yep. Um, um, and, you know, Hank is our, our chairman. Um, we do, I think we do a great job. Excellent job. I think Hank is a great person to have as the the because Hank the Taglia, yeah, yeah. Because he's ran a restaurant. Yeah. He's been in that industry. Yeah. He understands it, and you know, he honestly sometimes is like Jeff. You know, he gives me some perspective that I'm like, oh, okay, right. You know, so I've learned a lot um, on that on that uh, uh, commission, uh, and I, I I thank the mayor for, you know, allowing me to continue to serve because, you know, I, you know, I, it's vital that we help businesses, we keep businesses going, yep. you know, we, you know, try to help, but also try to, you know, help in other ways. Like, you know, if there's an issue, you know, and they come before us that we're addressing it. That's right. You know, in, in a timely know, manner, professional manner, professionally, yep. Yep. and, you know, the, the people know that, you know, if their kid is getting off a school bus and there's a thousand junk cars and they can't see, I mean, these are issues that a lot of parents, you know, have brought into the commission and yes. we've had to address it. Yes. Sometimes it's not been as favorable to the business, but I mean, there are rules, there are yep. boundaries. Yep. I mean, I think that, you know, for the most part, we're pretty fair. Um, and, and it's a good group of folks. Very good, really good group. Very folks. good. Very diverse group that, that understands, you know, from all different kind of walks. Yeah. Of, of, Professional of, backgrounds and skill backgrounds, sets. And, skill set. You know, I bring a different skill set yeah. than maybe Dave Texier and yeah. uh, Gene Marrow, yeah. you know, than um, Paul, Paul Stadinsky. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, Paul is a wealth of knowledge yep. and knows every crevice in the city and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, and, and I think just collectively, that's what's great about being on, you know, boards and commissions is like collectively, you guys come to one decision. Yes. You know, and yes. it's what's great is, you know, three, five people from five different places can collectively we'll get to that point, get to that point yep. and, you know, um, be uh, either unanimous or not in favor of a particular uh, item. Yeah, and I just, so, so ladies and gentlemen, so Jeff's a great example of someone that wants to join, give back to the community, boards and commissions. So if you have any interest in joining boards and commissions, I did this at my State of the City address as well, um, feel free to email uh, Mayor Sullivan at cobma, cityofbrockton, mass.us. 
Um, you could always call the office. The protocol is you have to submit a, submit a letter of interest and a resume or curriculum vitae. Um, and then, you know, we'll talk and try to figure out, number one, is there a spot and is there a good fit? Um, certain, um, like the planning board, you have to have a certain background under the ordinance. There has to be someone that knows land use, someone that's a real estate expert. So again, Jeff's a great example and he's also served the city really admirably. So before we conclude, um, as I sit here right now, we have lost 418 people. 418 Brocktonians have perished because of COVID-19. 12,731 total cases overall. Mm -hmm. The vaccine rollout is being done. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're doing a good job. We need to do a better job. Mm -hmm. One thing is educating and informing. Yeah. And it's all aspects. Brockton is a beautiful, diverse community. Mm -hmm. So specific to your, your, uh, your own personal opinion on the vaccine. Have you been vaccinated yet? Yes, so I have been vaccinated. I've had my first dose. I mean, I... I am a strong believer in, in following the science. I mean, the science has actually been pretty spot on yeah. on, I mean, even num calculating numbers of yes. people that are gonna perish. I mean, I, I, I would think that it would be beneficial for all residents to look at, you know, being vaccinated um, and not, not only for themselves, but for, you know, their parents. That's their, right. Their love, the That's people right. you love, so again, to me to make a small sacrifice to then be able to go see my mother that I don't see as often is something that I'm willing to be, even if I, you know, because people are bringing, you know, different things into, yep. you know, the fact of being vaccinated. So, you know, I think that one would make a sacrifice in order to, you know, do something else in life. So I think it definitely holds well of, you know, if, if it may not be your belief to do this, to do it based on, you know, keeping others safe. Absolutely, you know? no, and I support that. And, and so I'm rolling up my sleeve, everybody, April 19th. <laughs> that's when I meet the face, and I'm going to do it with pride because much like Jeff said, my parents, I, I really, I can't see them right now because yeah. out of abundance of caution. Yeah. Well, I just want to thank you, number one, for your friendship, yes. um, for your dedication, um, for, for your professionalism. And really for just taking the time to educate and inform today. I really, I really appreciate no, your time. You for, thank you for inviting me. I think this is a great platform. Um, and, you know, the, the, the mayor knows I'm just kind of a regular guy. A that's, guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, no. you know, there's, you know. What you know. position? Brenton <laughs> Idol. What football position? I didn't ask Tight you. End. Tight, Tight end. end. Tight. Did he have good hands or was no, he blocker? No, was he was a blocker. A blocker. <laughs> well, I Jason just... Vega was the touchdown. <laughs> he was the, he was the, he was the touchdown. Yeah, Jay, yeah, so. But, you know, I thank you. Thank you. For no, your, thank you for what you're doing. And, uh, and again, it's, it's, it's really uh, my honor and privilege to have Jeff Charnel here as my guest. And uh, you've been watching Our Brockton. Thank you. Brockton residents, thank you uh, for tuning in again to Our Brockton. This is Mayor Robert Sullivan. And my second guest on the 18th episode of Our Brockton is not just a wonderful Brocktonian, not a dedicated teacher, not a Emmy Award winning producer, director, movie icon right here. But he's just a heck of a nice guy. Nubi Rato. Hey, Nubi, how are you? Man, thanks for having me on. Really, really a pleasure. We go way back since Cows at Large Day. Yeah. Like back yeah. in high school. When you were here. Yeah, we're back here. in high school and, 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 you know, doing sports stuff. So this, you know, really, really a pleasure. Thank you no, so much. No, I want to thank you. And I, I, you know what? Um, the fact that you don't work in, in Brockton, right? You don't have to live in Brockton. Well, you're up teaching the great, the great city of Lynn, right. but it's no city of champions. And you know that. So you haven't left us. No. Talk to, talk to me, if, if you don't know Nubi, you're missing out. So please tune in right now. Nubi, talk to us about who you are, where you were raised, and professionally what you're doing. You know, I always say TV is my life. It, it really is my life. And um, I've always said, you know I, I, you know, I got to a point where I got into college. You know, I wanted to, you know, be in front of the camera and do different things. But I realized I was really making more of an impact behind the camera. Mm. So, you know, I started to do a, a sports show with your last guest, Jeff Charnel. Oh. And, you know, we, we did it right in my basement and, and you know. Those uh, posters were in the background, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we edited it right here at, at BCA. That's kind of how I got started. And then, you know, went to a curry and then finished up at Bridgewater State. And that's kind of when I started doing um, documentary work. Ironically, I started doing documentary work because I didn't want to write papers. <laughs> so that's why <laughs> that's my professor can't do videos. But um, I, I started noticing that people really enjoyed um, the message. And, and it gave me a lot of confidence, mm. you know, and then. It, it kind of flourished into, you know, me doing documenting work and editing work. And, and Bob, one thing I want to say, and you probably don't remember it, but, you know, before Bob was mayor and it was council at large, I asked Bob for some advice. Um, I, I got a, an opportunity to have a small little contract with a network. 
And Bob met me, I think it was at 7 o'clock in the morning, Panera Bread, and, and read the contract and really broke it down for free and, and, and really, you know, just educating me on things. And, you know, people don't know stories like that. So I, say, I, no, I really appreciate it. And I remember that vividly. Yeah, I remember I, really I said to you that. when you went on Oscar and Emmy, come back to me. <laughs> yeah, and what yeah. does he do? He wins yeah, an Emmy. Yeah. Oscar's coming next, yeah. believe me. <laughs> But, um, um, yeah, so I you know, went, went to college at Bridgewater and then um, started right here, brought the community access. And, you know, I'm really passionate about educating people through media. That's all I want to do is educate people through media. In terms of your profession, right? I mean, I'm the son of a teacher. My sister's a teacher at the Brookfield. You have to have it in your blood to be a teacher, to be an educator. And you, you have that calling. And, and you're doing it now. You know, it's difficult because of the pandemic right. with Zoom. But talk to me about, you know, your students. You, how, how is it going in terms of teaching right now in the year 2021? It's, it's difficult. It's funny. I started my passion for teaching right here in this building, Brockton Community Access, because I did the training program. Mm. So I ran the training program. I, I, you know, I was able to teach different volunteers, able to meet, you know, a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of different students. Actually, one of my students now is a reporter for the uh, Enterprise. So it's it's crazy how full circle. Oh, I still crazy. feel like I'm young, but I'm yeah. like I'm getting up there now. <laughs> so I started there, and then um you know I, I um you know late Mayor Bill Carpenter you know asked me to be a part of the direct communications, and I've always said it's like a call to service. You couldn't say no. Yeah. So you know that wasn't part of my plans, but you know I'm like it's an honor, and I, I definitely want to pursue the challenge. But I really want to go back to teaching. You know I really enjoy doing teaching at Brock Community Access, and I want to to you know to do that. So I had an opportunity to uh, teach at a vocational school in Lynn. And, and teaching 2020 up until this year is not easy, no. you know, but, and, and I really uh, just want to give a shout out to the teachers because it's mentally draining. Yes, it is. It really is. But ultimately, um, I think it's going to make us better. I think it's going to make the students better in terms of, you know, being able to use a computer and accessing files and things like that. So it's a challenge, but ultimately, you know, I've always said pain is temporary, right? Yeah. Pain is temporary, yeah. and it's going to make us stronger. So, um, you know, it's, we're, we're, we'll get back. I've always said to the students, you know what? This is a fight. It's 15 rounds, yep. and, and we got to put our dukes up, and that's what we're doing right now. Uh, and, and we are. We definitely are. There's no doubt about that. And it's a challenge, you know. we got to dust ourselves up and get right. back up and start swinging. In terms of projects you're working on right now, um, anything you want to share right now? The documentary that we're focusing on right now that held us back a little bit with the pandemic is immigration. Again, another hard issue. Yes. Um, and you know, what we like to do in, in, our, in our projects is really, I don't, I don't think it's the job of the media to take a side. I think it's the job of the media to tell the story. Yep. And the audience figure out, based on what I'm showing them, what side they agree with and not. So I try to do it in a passionate, creative way. Mm. Um, so we do focus on immigration in America, and we're going to travel the country and you know Brockton is a great story of, of successful immigrants yeah, us you know me yeah. and you, I mean we're you know Absolutely. immigrant success stories yeah. so we want to tell those stories but you know there's some controversial issues going on obviously with the former president yep. and things going on now in the border so we want to tell that story good. and educate people good I mean the story needs to be told right you know and and one thing that that you know you and I share a vision is is listen you have to learn from the past to forge to the future uh, and history is important. And so the story, um, if you do it well, and you do it exceptionally well, um, people will, will fully understand, you know, the good and the bad of all the stories, you know. And one story that I want to share with you right now um, in terms of, and I talked with Jeff about this, about volunteering to the community in terms of boards and commission. And it was an honor when I became mayor, one of the first people that I appointed were, were you um, and Paul Stadensky, um, two really dedicated, really Brocktonians. So could you talk uh, right now about what you think it means to be on the board? And I appointed you the Cable Advisory Board, but, mm. uh, and again, not because you won an Emmy, but because you're a Brocktonian, you care about the community. What are your thoughts about boards and commissions and volunteering? I think it's, I think it's huge, and I think it's, you know, it's on the onus of, uh, on, on both the community and both government to really, you know, encourage people to get involved. It's a two-way street, yep. you know, so, you know, we could talk about what we want for change, all we want. We need to get in there, and, and, and like I said, do change in, in your lane. I'm a media person, yep. so you know I want to be on the board for Brockton Community Access. You know, if, if you're in, you know in, into different things, maybe get on the board for the Cultural Council, right? What have you? So I think it's, it's crucial that you know we the the information is open and transparent. Yep. People know what's going on, and then okay, you know what? That's a board I might be interested in, in going about it. Let me write a, a letter to the mayor. Or, you know, write a letter to the mayor's office. So, but. 
I, I think it's so important that we, we need to be really aggressive in terms of, you know, being able to, you know, participate in our community to make that change. We can't sit back. We're, we're, we're in an age right now where we can't sit back. And I think now, which I love, you know, I teach kids right now and they constantly, you know, I, you know they teach me so many different things. Is, is I think this group of kids right now, they're so eager mm. to make change. They're impatient yep. and I love it. Yeah. You know, um, they're, I think it's the most accepting group of people I've ever seen. I, I think, you know, racism and all that stuff will end. Really, with this that so, generation, this is so it. So accepting. Oh yeah, they're engaged. So accepting, yep. and, and you know, they, they don't pass judgment, and, and and I love that about them. And they're really educating us, and they're constantly holding me accountable. Yep. You know, you know, I'm at a point right now where you know I'm blessed, but just because I quote unquote made it, I can't sit back. Now I got to pass the baton forward Absolutely. and have them go further than I did. That's right. So I, that's what I love about this generation is that they're so eager. And listen, they make mistakes, and sometimes I need to say, hey, don't go about it that way. Yep. You know, maybe go about it a different way, a little more, you know, in, 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 in a, you know, maybe not be so aggressive on certain things. But I really appreciate the ambition, the enthusiasm. And, and, and the constant, that constant battle between our generation, your generation, yeah, the kids, yeah. it's important. Yeah. You know, the dialogue needs to happen. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's interesting because if I take my mayor hat on and I have my, my, my number one job is being a dad, right, to three kids. Right. And what I see is exactly what you just said. They're eager. They're smarter than I was in my generation. Right. And they're not afraid to speak their mind. And nor should they be. And, and that's what's so exciting, you know. And, you know, we can be mentors. But we also are their allies, and you know, um, we're going to work together. That's the biggest thing. And so, uh, again, one thing that I just wanted to say again, which I, I said to Jeff, is, is I, I am just so pleased that that Nubi uh, is taking time out of his busy life um, to volunteer. And so, if people are interested, we want to get the best of Brockton boards and commissions, right? And it, it runs the gamut. You know, we have diversity commission, women's commission, historical commission, you know, planning board, zoning board, conservation, cable advisory board, license. There's, there's a hot, hot um, uh, issues right now in terms of commissions and boards. So there's terms. So some people were appointed by previous mayors and they're still in terms and we recognize that and we thank them for that. But when there's openings, that's when we can put other people in and you want to get a nice variety of people as well. So. Nobi, one thing that I wanted to talk to you about, and I want to thank you because you participated um, in a conversation with me and Dr. Mondesir and Dr. Herman recently um, with Haitian Community Partners and Marlene Amity mm -hmm. and Patricia Sand and just a lot of great people. In terms of COVID and how it's impacted detrimentally Brockton, what changed forever? Yeah. Uh, emotionally, financially, physically, what changed? Mentally. Um, it's also showing us glaring the disparity and how it's impacted uh, our communities of color. In terms of the vaccine rollout, and I'll be very honest, when we look at the people that have taken the shots in Brockton, proportionally it's white people. Right. So we need to reach out to all aspects. And you're a proud um, Haitian American, and, and I love that about you. And, and one thing about you is you don't sugarcoat things that I don't, right? What are your thoughts on the vaccine? Your own personal thoughts about the vaccine? Listen, I, I believe in science and, and, you know, I don't, not just going to talk about it. I am, I am about it. I took my first vaccine, my first dose. I'm taking my second one um, next week. Great. It's, it's, it's Moderna. Good. There's, there's fears, and, and, and those are natural. Yep. Those are natural fears. I personally believe, you know, that the, the, the small risk of, or any risk of, of taking the vaccine, it far outweighs someone getting the coronavirus or right. COVID-19. You know, um, the, the maybe, you know, the small side effects, and they said there are side effects and so on, but I, I, I just feel like, particularly for the minority community, mm -hmm. and almost particularly to the Haitian community, mm -hmm. it's extremely important because in, if you look at the numbers, they're the ones that are being affected the most, You're right? you know, in, in, in the city. And I think to truly get to where we want to be, obviously get back to normal, yep. not wear these masks, yep. not social distance, and... Yeah, I'm gonna speak with, you know, with the, with the Haitian community. You know, we're very affectionate people. We want to hug and kiss hug. everybody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, everyone yeah. wants to do that. Yeah. You know, so to get there, we have to go through a first step. And, and you know, and, and listen, you know, everyone's gonna have to make a personal decision. That's right. But I truly believe, you know, to get where we need to go, our, our numbers in terms of getting the vaccines, particularly in the minority community, need, need, needs to go. And, and, and I'm gonna do my part. Thank you. 
you know, to, to publicize myself getting the vaccine. Um, you know, I, I want to actually follow one or two people getting the vaccine mm -hmm. and showing the process. You know, my grandma's 94, she got the vaccine. I love her. You Good. know, um, and, and, you know, I just think it's important that we want to get back to normalcy. Yes, Our do. kids need to get back to school. Yep. Our kids need to get back to school. Yep. And, and th that's, this is the first step. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your personal opinions. And so, again, I just want to say that uh, we have our Board of Health getting our local allotment from DPH of our vaccine. So usually it's Moderna and Pfizer. This week we got J&J, &J, Johnson Johnson, which is great because that's the one shot and you're done, right? But also our partners at Neighborhood Health Center, they're getting their federal allotment because of President Biden designated them a federal designee. So they're getting a percentage from the federal government, and they're also getting their own from the state, DPH. And that's why we're at the Shaw Center right now, collaborating with Neighborhood Health Center. So, um, you know, please listen to the words of both Jeff and Newby. Uh, again, I am probably going to roll up my sleeve when I qualify, which is April 19th, and I, I wish it was tomorrow, but it's coming soon. Newby, I just want to thank you um, personally as a friend, but also as someone that's just so impressed with your career. Um, you don't forget where you came from. You never will. Um, and this is a special place where we are right now for you. And I just want to thank you for taking time to see us today. I really appreciate it. No problem. My pleasure. I, I do want to just mention, um, I, you know, I, I promised myself, I made a promise to God, when I won the Emmy Award, I was going to pay it forward. We did a, a media workshop last year in February before the world ended. Um, and we had about 150 people there. We had guests from uh, Fox 25, NBC. This year, we're, mm. we're pushing back the uh, media workshop I do, I do a media workshop with collaboration with the NLBACP. Mm -hmm. um, just checking in, sponsors in, Bridgewater State. We're pushing back to the fall. Okay. We don't have a date and time yet. We're looking towards the fall. I've confirmed Michael Hawley from NBC Sports. Awesome. I've confirmed Chelsea McDonald from WHDH. Yeah, Channel 7, yeah. Yes. Uh, Rudy Hippolyte, a film director, and we're looking to try to get an actor. But that's going to be in the fall. Okay. Um, we did get a grant from the Cultural Council, so we're going to look to give away some equipment. Um, that people can walk away. And I'm also going to, I'm working on an audio book. Awesome. Calling it Newbie Steps. Newbie Steps? Newbie Steps. I like that. On how to get a job in TV. We're, we're going to be um, giving those away for free. Um, Eastern Bank um, is going to be sponsoring uh, as, as well. Oh, great. I'm sorry, no, um, North, Northeastern, Northeastern, Northeastern Savings, Savings Bank. Northeastern Savings Bank. Bank. Okay. Yeah, Jeff Charnel. Yep, yep, yep. Is, is going to be sponsoring that. So um, we're really excited about that. So that's going to be in the fall. Okay. Um, so I definitely you know, look out for that. So, yeah, when you get a hard date, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to publicize that on social media. And it will be in Brockton. Well. It'll be right here in Brockton Right somewhere. in Brockton. You never forget the roots. You know, that's, this is it, right? And, that, and that's, again, that's why this episode is called Our Community, Our Brockton. That's what it's about. It's our home. I want to thank you, my friend. Uh, stay well. My best to you and your family for Easter. And uh, again, uh, this is Mayor Sullivan. It's an honor and privilege to serve as mayor, and it was really an honor and privilege to have Nubi Rato and Jeff Charnel. Uh, and I will be seeing you next week on the 19th episode. Thank you so much. Be well. Enjoy the holiday.